is good everybody and welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have an epic wwe elite figure review and it is of the entrance greats kurt angle figure one of my favorite wrestlers of all time we are finally getting him in the mattel figure line um and it's an elite it's a freaking elite and an entrance greats figure which they discontinued that series you know a few years ago and then they relaunched it and they relaunched it with a bang guys they gave us kurt angle and like I said, this figure is way long overdue. Kurt Angle should have been one of the first elites they ever made in the flashback series, but they finally gave it to us, so I'm going to stop complaining. Um, you know, the Entrance Greats line is a line where they give you a stand that plays the Superstars music, and then it gives you an accessory related to their entrance. So I think that this is a great way to start off that line. You know, we're getting Jeff Hardy in just a few months, so they are definitely going to do big things with this Entrance Greats line. A lot of awesome figures to come, but let's go ahead and get straight into this Kurt Angle figure review. All right, guys, starting off with the packaging, we have the front window here with the beautiful man himself, Kurt Angle. We have some uh, lights going down the back right here behind him with a red background. Entrance Greats logo with the new WWE logo right there. Some scaffolding going around back there and with the lights back there. The name of the superstar, Kurt Angle, right there in a beautiful color. I think this packaging is fantastic. It's a little bulky. It's not like regular Elite packaging. It's actually got some width to it. Uh, spinning it around right there, you have the WWE logo, some more patterns. On the back, this thing is really sick. It's got a picture of the figure. It's like a photoshopped image of the figure. And I guess this is supposed to be like the stage here. And then it's got the Titantron. So it's got his Titantron playing back there with Kurt Angle. It's got some info right here. Got Kurt Angle, got his theme song, ring attire, event, and then it tells you a few things about Kurt Angle. This is from Survivor Series 1999, and that is his debut, and what a debut it was. What a freaking career the man had. But now that we have Kurt Angle's packaging taken care of, guys, let's go ahead and crack him out of his packaging. Here we have Kurt Angle out of his packaging, and my Jesus Christ on earth and in heaven at the exact same time. This figure right here may be figure of the year. I know a while back I posted on my Instagram hating on the head scan, but this is not the same head scan that they showed um, in those prepackaged images or whatever ringside posted at the time. This is a different head scan. It's like they combined the one that was shown at SDCC and then the same the one that they posted on Instagram. It's like they merged those two heads together. And I think this head scan is fantastic. I think the body is fantastic. Um, I think all the parts used, the paint apps, everything about it. This figure, um, I know I stated that the Defining Moments Chris Jericho was my favorite figure that Mattel has ever produced. But this figure right here may have just knocked Chris Jericho off his pedestal. Um, I think it's the nostalgia reason. And then just overall, they destroyed the figure. They did an amazing job on the figure. But let's go ahead and get into his accessories. And then we will get into the figure itself. All right, guys, getting into his accessories. First up, we have his accessories, a part of his entrance right here. And it is what he is probably most known for in his entire WWE career. And it's something he didn't even win in the WWE. It is his Olympic gold medals from the 1996 uh, Olympics. And these are just fantastic. Um, there's no sculpting on here or anything like that. It's just flat gold, but I think it works. You can definitely tell what they are. They do have the green straps, which is accurate, and I think that they did a good job on these. They fit over the neck really well. Um, there's nothing about them that are difficult. Um, they go on really easy. They come off easy. So these are a really nice accessory to have. And then the main part of an entrance greats figure is the stand they come with. So you have this stand right here. you got the little peg here that plugs into his ankle. You have a speaker right here. And then this is the platform of the stage with the little lights molded on the back. It has uh, Kurt Angle's name here with the WWE logo. Got the copper plate gothic font right there. And then you have a button on the side. And when you press the button, you hear... And that's all you get from the entrance music. Probably the greatest entrance music of all time. It's very uh, nostalgic. It's very awesome. It's very just uplifting. Like when you hear that, you know exactly who it is just immediately right off the bat. But that is it for Kurt's accessories, not including his elbow pads and knee pads, which are really interesting as well. But now that we've covered that, let's go ahead and get into the figure itself. All right, guys, starting out at the top of the head of the figure, we have this brand new Kurt Angle head scan. And I think it does look like Kurt Angle. It looks very nice. Again, this is not the same head scan that I ripped into um, when they first posted it. Um, th I think we've had three different head scans that they have showed us for this figure. You got the final product, and then you have two... Um, 
sort of uh, works in progress that they showed before the release of the figure. But I think it is nice. The hair color is a little bit light, but I think that is because it's earlier in his career. I mean, it's his debut, for God's sake, so it's sort of uh, lighter than it was later on in his career. You could darken it up a bit, though, and I think it would still be okay. I like the uh, smile we get right here, and I just I think they did a really good job on that head. Going out into the torso, I think it's a good choice. Um, it may be a little bit too broad, but I think it still works. I, I am a fan of this. I think that it works collectively with the rest of the figure, and um, the singlet is very nice. I'm not a huge fan of this uh, singlet that they chose, but this is his debut, so I mean... Um, he didn't really go too crazy with his attires until later on in his career. You do get the shoulder tattoo right there, which is accurate. And we do get red elbow pads, which are amazing. Um, I don't know if any other figures have came with these. If they have, please let me know down in the comment section below. But he did wear red knee pads in his debut. Um, we have the thick quad muscles, which is accurate. We get some open blue knee pads, which are awesome. And then white boots to type it all off. Again, I think the formula they use for this Kurt Angle is very nice. I think that um, I wish they would have molded this in skin color and then uh, painted the blue, but I think they did the opposite. I think they molded it in blue and then painted it on the skin tone, which is going to lead to some paint chipping and stuff. But I know how to uh, get that thick, so that is no issue for me. But again, this figure is absolutely fantastic. I love it all the way through. But now let's compare it to some of my other Kurt Angle Elite figures. All right, guys, here we have three different stages of Kurt Angle's career in Elite figure form. We have the debut entrance greats right here on the left. We have this custom from Showstopper custom figs in the middle from around 2001. And then we have the BEW custom elite Kurt Angle over here from a later time in his career. And I think all three look fantastic. I'm absolutely ecstatic that I actually have three different Kurt Angles from three different moments in his career. Um, I cannot wait to build up this timeline like my Cena's and my Triple H's. Since I, I like to build up timelines of people's career of uh, some of my favorites of all time. So Kurt Angle will be no different. I will definitely be uh, doing that with this as well. But um, I cannot wait for the rest of the Kurt Angle figures that we're going to get in the future. I cannot wait to see what else Mattel adds. Maybe we get a bald head skin, or maybe we get some more uh, Attitude Era style Kurt Angles. But now we can get into the final review of the video. Alright guys, well that is going to do it for this review. Thank you guys so much for watching. My final review of this figure is that this is a complete 10 out of 10. You get an awesome stand that plays Kurt Angle's music. You get great gold metal accessories. I think that the formula for this figure is amazing. I think that the head scan is amazing. I think the posability is amazing. And just everything about it is incredible. I definitely recommend picking this figure up. Um, it is a definite must-have. It's the first ever Kurt Angle from Mattel, and it won't be the last, I can assure you. So you definitely need to pick this up. If you like Kurt Angle, if you love wrestling in general, you definitely got to pick up this Kurt Angle. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like. Leave a comment down below what you think of this Kurt Angle. Subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Hit that notification bell so you will never miss a My Damn Toys upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.